So here we'll look at the app that's comparing similarity of volumes. Uh, so what we recognize as we're doing it is that our scale factor is what's uh, represented of the ratio. And here we have that the red and the blue rec or rectangular prisms are on top of one another because they have this one-to-one -one relationship. So if I change my scale factor, uh, say I change it to 2, here I can see that all the side lengths are doubled. And if I look at the ratio of the volumes, I'll see that I've gone from while the sides are doubled, this volume is 8 times the size. So I've gone from a scale factor of 2 to a volume ratio that's 8 times the size. Say then, uh, if I go up here and look at uh, the questions, it wanted me to then try out alphas at 4, 5, 10, and see what's going on. So more than anything, is just continue to look at different um, scale factors. And I can even look at halves if I want. So here, I've tripled every side length. But what I notice between these is that this is 27 times the size of uh, the original, the red uh, rectangular prism. So while the scale factor is 3, the volume ratio is 27 to 1. Now if I go to 4, every side is 4 to 1, but the volume is 64 to 1. If I go to 5, here I've multiplied every side by 5, but the volume is 125 to 1. And then if I go all the way to 10, so I've got 120, 100, and 150, I've multiplied every side by 10. While that scale factor is 10, the ratio of the volumes is 1,000 to 1. And that's because the way that we determine volume, as you can see, is that it is the scale factor cubed because it's the scale factor to the length times the scale factor to the width times the scale factor to the height. So it's 10 times 10 times 10 because it's affecting all three measurements. And that's true even when we do fractional values as well. So here, this would be 7.5 times 7.5 times 7.5, and, and that will give us that ratio of the volume of the red rectangular prism to the blue rectangular prism. Uh, now, one of them that's kind of interesting to think about too, though, is what happens when you go to a scale factor that's less than one, it's between zero and one, say a half. So every side is a half of the original red. And what I would notice though, is that that's one half the length, one half the width, one half the height. Uh, one half times one half times one half would be one eighth of the original uh, of the red rectangular prism. So it's still the same idea. It's just that your um, your volume ratio is going to become that much smaller.